Hey guys, welcome to another episode. So today I want to share a really nice free online tool to generate uh, random, realistic looking JSON data for, um, let's say you're working on a project and you need some mock-up data, that's where this comes in handy. I've already shared one service like that with you, Mockaroo, but the issue with Mockaroo is that um, it's more aimed at like traditional row-based data. So um, if you have a JSON, you can only have like uh, properties within instances. You cannot have like nested arrays or objects. I got an email yesterday from uh, Timothy from New Zealand. I think he either works or studies at Auckland University. So kudos for doing that. He designed this tool called Mock Turtle, which would allow you to generate realistic looking uh, randomized mock-up data. The tool has um, 56 data types, so you have everything from like corporate structures, uh, sales, finance, IT, product information, uh, map information, personal data, credit card numbers, all kinds of others uh, that you can use. So pretty much the way it works is you build out your structure, then you just hit the button and you just get your JSON file that you can then import and use uh, for development purposes. By the way, guys, uh, if you're enjoying the videos, a sub will be amazing and uh, maybe even a thumbs up if you enjoy the content. Okay, let's go ahead and just take a look. Okay, this is Mock Turtle, a Teams project, and what it allows you to do is uh, to build complex JSON structures using uh, arrays and uh, nested arrays or objects so that you can generate um, mock JSON data to use as part of your uh, development process. So let's say we want to generate a data for our users. So this is the, the default that you get once you enter. So I already have a credit card number assigned to it full name. And if you click here, you can see all the data types that uh, they have at uh, Mock Turtle. Currently they have 56 uh, data types, which is quite good to be honest. So you have some corporate things like company name, job titles, product name, some finance uh, things. So Let's go ahead and uh, first let's change that to name. Then let's go ahead and name that address. We have the street and the city. Let's add an object. Just gonna go to all and look for object. And this object, I'm gonna name it CC data. And it's gonna have my CC number can go here, type credit card number. I want my CC authorization code, which is gonna be my credit card CCV. Then also let's have our balance, CC balance. Okay, I'm just gonna search for money, if I can spell it correctly. Here, say I want people to have between 850 and 10,000 and uh, well, 1,500 euro in their account. What else? Uh, so that's pretty much how it works. It's a great thing that you can actually, because you see here that you have a length for your array. The good part is that here we picked an object, but you can also pick an array which would allow you to generate a lot of data within every single uh, instance that you have here. Okay, and now that we have this uh, purchases, I'm gonna add an object here. This object will have my purchased product, which is gonna be a product name. And I will also have the quantity that I purchased, which is gonna be a value or a number perhaps, yep, a number between one and five with zero decimals. And I'm also gonna have value of the order, which is gonna be money. And let's say I want the value of the order to be between 50 and 500 euro. Let's reduce that a bit to let's say 10 purchases per uh, each customer. So 
What we have now is quite a complex uh, JSON structure that would allow us to generate a lot of mock data that you can use uh, in your development. Let's say we generate that. So you see here that we have this person, their address, their credit card data, and then we have an array with purchases with, well, it only uh, shows first five elements of array, but if we download the file, it's gonna be, uh, everything is gonna be inside. So that's, that's pretty much the product. Uh, you should go ahead and uh, take a look at all the types that you have here. Quite a lot of options that you get, and uh, so far I haven't seen any limit. So let's say I wanna generate a thousand of those. Okay. And uh, here it is. So we get the name, the down, purchases, some purchases here, some here, some here. Okay, only one purchase here. Oh, that's actually great because we said that the minimum length is one and the maximum length is 10. So it gets uh, an average for each time and it gets that, um, that each person has between one and 10 purchases, which is really great because it makes it much more robust as a mock data. So maybe if you really wanna generate a thousand, you can just do it like length min 990 or 999, something like that. I gotta say that's, uh, that's a great way to generate some complex JSON data that you can after that use. Let's say if we just grab this uh, this ready thing and we generate it and we download it, what we can do then is load this data in Python and you can see it here just to illustrate how easy it is to use it. So let's say you can go ahead and just grab uh, data for a random person. Let's say you can even go ahead and have something like a small app built, which would say, hi there, your full name is Elvis Rampo, your address is in Wash Haven, you live on Amanda Island, right? Let's see if that's actually correct. Okay, yeah, address and full name. I gotta say, uh, that's a great tool and I'm, uh, I'm really looking forward to first recommending it to more of my friends. I already recommended it to some of them that are into web development and they said that they've been looking for something like that and that uh, it uh, can be a huge time saver in certain conditions. Of course, there's uh, a lot more that can be improved. Let's say rearranging uh, the properties would be really cool. Also being able to save it and uh, then load it at a later point. So save your structure and then load it at a later point. Overall, what you're getting for free is awesome. So definitely go ahead, uh, show Timothy some love, hit the heart button at the top of his project, make him know that that uh, this is something that you find useful. So maybe he'll be able to, to spend more time and extending the functionality more. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and maybe even punch the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Till then, thanks for watching and catch you in the next one. The tool has, uh, I think, five blah, and you get like a thousand lines or a thousand, um, a thousand. Okay, let's just go ahead. <clears throat>